Hello folks, in this video I answer one of our viewer questions who asked uh, I stumbled upon this video, blah 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 Basically, they want to know how to work the absolute and additive automation thingy And I said, of course, I'll literally make that video for Look, one second ago, it was literally a second ago So I wasn't being figurative, I was being literal And, uh, and we're going to talk about the absolute versus additive automation and I can't believe I haven't made this video already uh, it's it's like the, it's one of the coolest things inside Bitwig. it's even if you don't use it it's just like it's nice to look at it's just neat to just observe what it's doing and uh, and this is why I need you guys to tell me uh, what you need to know what you want to know because I'll I will told I'm so missing uh, all kinds of stuff that you know, as as hard as I can think about what I should show you next, it, I just, I need you to tell me what you want to know. And so this is a prime example of that because as soon as he mentioned it, I, I was like, holy shit, I haven't covered this, <laughs> you know? So uh, again, definitely let me know. Be like our buddy here and tell me what you want to know and I will make a video for you. That's kind of the whole point of this channel here. Okay, let's start the show. All right, so first of all, uh, let's just listen to what I've made here. It is not fantastic. It's just, uh, it's just something, I, I just, I made MIDI data for the purpose of this video. So let's have a listen. And it just it just does that and you all know how to automate you first of all like if this is the track you want you can double click to get the devices down here and then you just kind of scroll over to whatever it is that you want to automate and say it's uh, the cutoff filter or cutoff frequency of a filter well you can just click it and now when you press automate uh, it shows up down there and quite simply if we expand this a little more so you can see it uh, you can just you can create an automation and in this case why don't we just do something like that so the filter kind of slowly opens and then from there you know you can press option and you can bend it uh, and that's fine and well and that's that's what you get to do you could press three I guess and you can draw in a whole bunch of automation if you want to do it that way uh, and whatever so there you go you, you've successfully automated but you can go a little bit further than that and so here, down here, when you select your views, of course, you have your note editor, uh, you got your mixer panel, your device panel. If you click the one that is the automation editor panel, uh, then ba bam, there you go. It's your automation that you've just kind of created. So now there's two different, there's a couple different modes here. There's, there's, you know, absolute and additive. What I just did was absolute value. So let's just listen to it now. Yeah, you get the point so now additive you notice that this all disappears and what you're gonna see is a difference up there so if I press 3 and just go to my pencil tool and uh, and say I just make a squiggly line uh, you know what I'll do it a little bit lower right here and I just squiggle I'm gonna squiggle sharply so you can really see it um, kind of about the medium line there that I'm following. You see that? Okay, so check this out. Up here, you'll notice that even though when I made the squiggly line, I was just kind of doing it around the, the middle line here, you'll notice that it, it bends upwards. And so that means that when you're doing additive, you're automating an automation. See, so I've made a squiggly line, but it's still going to follow the automation that I made before. 
So that's essentially what what additive automation is. So it's pretty it's pretty crazy. You can do some pretty neat stuff. Let's just do that. Check that out. You see what I'm saying? So if I just drew a straight line, okay, look how it follows that. So in here, if if I were to do something like this, okay, there you go, there you have it, and uh, and I let's just get rid of all this automation quickly. Do, do, do. There. Okay, so right now we're back to the point where it's just normal automation. I could have just drawn this in here and not worried about it in the automation editor pa uh, panel. But now, if I'm on additive right here and I click, I can increase and decrease the effect of that. So if I, if I want the sharp kind of uh, shark fins there, but I want to fade them in slowly, I can just do something like this. I'm running out of mouse space. There we go. And then as it as it comes in, uh, the shark fins get more prominent into the point where they're exceeding the actual base automation lane there. Okay, so that's essentially that's in a nutshell what additive automation is. And again, to get there, let me just let's just make sure we're all clear on this. Uh, I will delete this automation. Uh, we'll go back to the device pane and we'll close it up. Okay, so you you know <laughs> Let's just let's just start again Okay, so you've clicked filter cutoff frequency and You can just go right over to the automation editor panel and then from there you can just you can make your edits So if I want one here and I want to point up there and I can bend it Let's open this up and have a look. There it is, okay? And that's basically how that works. And you could have done that one of two ways. You could have just clicked the cutoff frequency and clicked down on this, and, and automatically you would see cutoff filter uh, right here, and then you could have made it that way. Or you could have just clicked that, immediately brought up the automation editor panel, and done it the way I just did it and but it's the same side it's a <laughs> two sides of the same coin it's the same thing okay now if you want to do the additive thing you just come over here and click plus oh it's worth mentioning if I'm in track mode is not there so you have to be in clip mode okay and then you click uh, <laughs> click plus and now you're in additive mode and you can press three on your keyboard to bring up the little pencil and uh, and now you can sort of automate however you want like that you see and that's it. Good question. I'm glad you asked because I wouldn't have thought of that. So good, fantastic question. Thank you for doing that. And also, I don't know if you've seen recently, I've asked you guys to submit uh, your projects to me because then I'll take your projects and add my own thing to them and I'll do it on camera so that you can all watch me do it. And uh, like I mentioned in that post, I won't, uh, I won't judge or belittle your project. I'm not there to critique it or take it apart or anything like that. I'm just there to play with it. It's just like, uh, it's like you're giving me a new Tonka truck to throw into the sandbox and I'm just gonna chill with it for a bit, play around with it, uh, add my little flavor to it. And then you can all watch and maybe I'll, I'm definitely gonna learn stuff from you guys that I didn't think to do before. And hopefully you will learn something from me by doing that also and you can submit that to uh to my email and you can find that of course uh let's see let's go back here for a sec let's go over to my channel <clears throat> you can find that uh if you click about and it's right there okay alternatively you can go to facebook you can find it there you'll find a post and you can comment on that but yeah uh, yeah so go ahead and do that i think that'll be a lot of fun and as always, so tell me what you want to know, and I'll make a video for you, okay? That's the whole thing about this channel, is that it's for you guys. Like, I, I, Just let me know. So anyway, good question. Thank you for asking, and thank you for watching. Uh, be good to each other, and we'll see you in the next video. All right, guys. Ciao.